This Christmas card video is part of my Christmas 2021 playlist. I have completed three other cards, so if this is your first visit to my channel, I hope you'll check out the playlist and look at the other three cards that have been made for the holiday. This one I am trying to do in an easy format, and I hope you'll join me. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I try to share videos as I learn in this particular genre and I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel and of course the likes the comments do help me and the notification bell will let you know when I upload additional content. So I start with a list of things that I went to do and in this particular season I decided I was going to send some holiday cards. So the first thing I did was cut a six inch by six inch piece of cardstock. I'm going to create a background utilizing just a metallic white. And I have created the marks with a piece of cardboard on my gel press. So that is coming out quite nicely. So let's do a few more backgrounds with some different mark making and see what we can come up with for this particular version bubble wrap on the second card. Again, six inch by six inch piece of cardstock. I lay my card down on a thin layer of metallic white and I put that piece of paper over the back of it so I don't blemish the back of the card. So let's lay that metallic white down once again. And this is just a lid that I have kept. There's two different sizes of lids and I'm just randomly circling across the gel press. And once again, if you do not own a gel press, you can create this by laying down a piece of plexiglass, a piece of wax paper to put your paint on and create your mono print. This is just a hotel key card that I am slightly twisting. And there's our third different background. So we'll make four or five of these cards. Let's create another. And I think I'll pull out just a comb. So I've just combed through that paint with a little plastic comb. And that creates a nice background as well. Let's see what other ordinary item I have here. How about a potato masher? We'll just create some marks with the body of that potato masher. To create backgrounds, we use cardboard, bubble wrap, lids, hotel key card, and a potato masher and a comb. Don't forget the comb. Well, I want to score these backgrounds at three inches. Cardstock cut six inches by six inches and now we'll score at three. I'm going to lay down a piece of parchment paper and I'm just drawing out a little two and a half inch by two and a half inch square here on my workstation just to kind of keep me within that guideline. And with my glue gun, I am going to create a star and a Christmas tree. Now, when I am drawing this star and the Christmas tree, you want to make sure you keep all of your lines connected because when we peel it up, we want it to be in one piece. I'm just very messily drawing out what I want to use as a stencil. And I'm going to use this as a stencil on the front of my card. So I'll just take another piece of parchment paper and kind of press that warm glue down. And once it has cooled, you can peel that glue right off that parchment paper. And there you have 
a couple of little stencils that we can use to create our cards. I just want to put that in an area that's a little more convenient for me. So let's draw a few trees. And I extended that glue area to go along the front of the card. So it doesn't have to be that two and a half by two inch square. We have the six inches that we can actually create within. So we'll make that tree just a little longer. Now let me grab some black cardstock so we can see what we have here because I don't think you can see. There we go. There's the little glue stars that we've made. There's our first Christmas tree. So let's just make a few more and, and then we'll use the ones that, that we like. I just took my marker and kind of outlined what I wanted to draw so I had a pattern that I could work off of. Press that over and and you can do any shape that you want. I chose to do trees and stars. You could do bells, reindeer heads, um, crosses, just about anything that you can think of that specifies or signifies Christmas for you or the holiday season. Candle, candle would be kind of cool. There, I'm just extending that to make my tree a little longer, like I said before. You have the three inches by six inches to work within. And again, we're just creating a stencil out of glue. And there are our finished stencils. I'm just kind of determining if I want to shape, put more than one together on the card. I have chosen to use a cool gray. So I'll lay my stencil on the gel press. I'm going to pull in just a plain piece of white catch paper. And I'm pressing down around my stencil or around that glue just to remove the paint and the little indentions. Now we'll pull that up. Could actually use it as a stencil. That print came out kind of nice. We'll lay the card down. And there's our first card. Kind of clean some of that paint off of the press and go back with some white to kind of clean it up a bit so we don't have those random marks. And we'll set that aside. So once again with the cool gray, I'm going to try a couple of stars this time. Let's clean up a little bit more. I'm pressing down to get in the little indentions in the store. I 
we'll bring that card back in. And we'll lay a piece of clean paper over the back of it to avoid marking up the rest of my card. And there, I like that one. A couple of stars. I am using two colors in the cards that I have created. I utilized the cool gray and this is the gray green. So both colors or both paint colors have shades of gray or gray toned colors. I tend to really like. Clean that press up. And do one, one more, and then we'll get these finished off and we'll move on. We'll lay our metallic white background down on top of this cool gray and create a little star atop the Christmas tree. And now for the black card, I lay down the metallic white. And let's see how this looks. Ah, I like that. So just to kind of outline the stars, I'm very loosely taking a micro pen. Any pen will work. And outlining loosely the outline of the stars and the trees. And I went around each twice. I'm writing 2021 in the corner just to commemorate the year that I created the card. And I think this creates a quick, easy, handmade, nice little greeting to send out. And on that black heart, I'm using a glitter pen, a white glitter pen. I was going to use a Posca marker, but it broke on me when I pulled it out. But the glitter pen works just fine. So here are our stencils, and let's ink around the back or the outside edge of these cards in black. Just frames them in a little bit. And this is our completed fronts of the cards. Let's just put a little greeting in it and then we'll stamp a little greeting. You can write the greeting. You don't need anything at all. You can use your personal salutations inside. <clears throat> but I have a very limited amount of stamps in the Christmas sector or in the holiday sector and this one says Merry Merry and a Ho 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 and I have chosen to use it on the inside of these. Let's see if we can get a good clean stamp on each. So for a little paint, some ink, some household items to create your background, white cardstock, 
in either a gel press or lay down a piece of wax paper and use that as your palette. You have a pretty simple, simple card here. And I'm inking around the outside edge, but you could take the paint and just a cosmetic sponge or a piece of um, paper towel and put a little dab on it and go around the outside edge of the card with your paint if you wanted to frame it in with your paint color. You take the white glitter pen on the back one and just make some lines on the inside and, and write Merry Christmas. And the date. Now let's grab some envelopes. I used what I had in stock and my envelopes had some glue residue on the flap. So I'm stripping just some of my catch papers here. And I'm going to use those strips to cover up that glue residue on the back of these envelopes. Then I actually, I'm doing it to cover up a flaw, but I think it, I wanted to share because I think it creates kind of a nice coordinated little envelope with, with the card. So here are the completed cards. I showed them to you at the beginning. I'll show you, them to you again, once again. Again, I use two colors of paint, cool gray and gray green, and of course, metallic white, three colors. So there you have it. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and a, a comment. I always appreciate those. And of course, if you'll hit that subscribe button, I appreciate that as well. So thank you very much. Happy holidays and bye for now.